Uh, so since we've reached a certain number of participants, we'll be starting the webinar today. Um, good afternoon, my name is Parviti Bakshi and I am the founder and editor-in-chief at The Digital Future. So as the moderator for today's event, I would like to thank you on joining us for today's webinar on blockchain and law. Before we would begin, I would like to share a little bit of background information on who we are at The Digital Future. While I am a lawyer by profession, I've always had a deep interest in the digital developments of the 21st century. At The Digital Future, with over 60 in-house researchers, we're geared towards making our platform a place for individuals interested in research and education in the field of artificial intelligence, blockchain, cybersecurity, cryptocurrency, data protection, and more things tech-related. In today's discussion, we will look and try and understand how blockchain technology works, how corporations around the globe are adapting and implementing blockchain in their business strategies, and how blockchain and similar technologies are impacting the legal industry. So let's meet our guest speaker. Sandeep is a lawyer currently based out of Dubai. He was recently certified as a blockchain and law professional, which got us curious to know more about what exactly that entails. Parvati for inviting me for this webinar and thanks a lot to all the participants for joining us today. Uh, as Parvati stated that I'm a lawyer, so I come from a legal background, and therefore today's discussions that we're going to have will primarily be the legal aspects of uh, various topics and the questions that are usually there in a law student's mind or, or a young lawyer's mind. They want to know more about, say, blockchain and what are the different opportunities and challenges that are available in this specific domain for them. So that will be the focus of discussion. And if you have any questions, please feel free to ask in the chat box and we'll try to take as many as questions as we can. Over to you, Parvati. Okay, great. So let's get started on part one of this webinar, understanding the basics. So the first question is, what influenced you to take up a certification course on blockchain? Well, the story goes back to, I think, the end of 2013 or the beginning of 2014. And that was when our journal Patiakala was, I guess, uh, conducting a seminar on blockchain and cryptocurrencies. And I collaborated with one of my friend from Eyal Mohali to present a paper in that conference. We didn't get selected because of, uh, I didn't have enough knowledge about this specific topic and wasn't that good at research. It was my, I think, first year of law school. But since then, I've always been interested in, in different kinds of technology and specifically their overlap with the law and policy as such. So after graduation, when I came here in Dubai, I did some training with PwC in FinTech. And during the course of that training and also my association with other couple of companies in tech sphere, I faced a lot of challenges in terms of understanding. And I was also curious to know more about this technology. So I kept on exploring, did a couple of courses uh, from Coursera related to FinTech and cryptocurrency and blockchain. And then someone suggested me about this one specific course. I explored it a little bit, found it a little bit more interesting, and therefore I just signed up uh, for this course. And I also have kind of very strong inclination towards doing online courses. I've been doing online courses since the, I think, first semester of my law school back in 2013. So whenever I come across an opportunity to learn more. Uh, I think I usually sign up for these kind of courses uh, more frequently than anyone else. So that's how I got introduced to this course and that's what attracted me towards this specific domain. Over to you, Bart. Okay, that's great to know. And that's a very typical law school story, you know, like a lot of us end up getting introduced to things through our friends or through teammates and sometimes failure can lead to success. Okay, so can you tell us a little bit more about what exactly a certified blockchain and law profession professional entails? Okay, from the course perspective, uh, the curriculum basically touch upon a couple of the basic concepts of a blockchain, cryptocurrency, ledger technology, and, and some of the complicated concepts where different use case scenarios are discussed uh, during the course. It also deals with uh, different legal challenges that uh, 
various startups and this technology specifically is facing uh, in the domain and it also briefly discuss about the policy policy issues that that various organizations and government institutes are trying to rectify uh, apart from that it had i think a couple of questions that you need to answer in mcq format to get your certificate um, but i won't say that the course is highly complicated as such if you have the basic knowledge of cryptocurrency and blockchain as such and you have interest in that specific domain or you want to learn more about this specific domain then it should be an easy course to do um, but the idea of doing these courses is basically to build certain basic knowledge and then try to advance towards something a bit more complicated so that's briefly what this course entails